What's up guys? So I've been really enjoying Giovanna in the Guilty Gear Strive beta so I thought I'd make a little bit of a guide going through what I've learned for the character so far so that if you're interested in picking her up when the full game comes out you're gonna know what to expect. So we're gonna run through her basic game plan, we're gonna run through some of her important moves and some of their properties and uh, then I'm gonna show you some match footage that I think might give you a better idea of uh, what she's actually trying to do in a match. So to start off, her game plan, she's pretty basic. Um, she is definitely a character who I think is well suited for beginners. Primarily, she wants to play the ground game. So her air normals are generally kind of awkward. She doesn't have the best normals for sort of rushing down from the air. And her ground normals are actually really amazing. And the fact that her forward dash is very, very powerful, very fast and long range. And you can use the forward momentum from your forward dash to make your normals have way longer range. So stuff like her far slash doesn't have that good of range, but if you dash first, I mean, this move just has insane range. It goes like everywhere, so. And then she can use, you know, this combination of combining your ground normals. She can use that to set up her frame traps and her throw game, which is kind of the other half of her game plan. You want to control the ground with her dash and with her ground normals, and then you want to condition the opponent using frame traps and throw setups. So Giovanna has really, really good frame traps. If you don't know what a frame trap is, basically the idea is you make the opponent block something, and then you put them in a situation where if they press a button, they're going to get trapped, meaning you can counter hit them out of it. So this move is plus on block, meaning that you recover before the opponent. And uh, if they press any kind of buttons, you're going to be able to interrupt it. And it's the same with this move. That is also plus. You do have to be slightly careful against three frame normals like Souls 5k. You can actually trade with those, uh, but some of your moves might be able to low profile it so you can use like 2k. So that way, you know, you can stop the opponent from pressing buttons, which is what you want. You want them to stop pressing buttons so that way they'll just block and you can start to throw them. Some other ways that she can create plus frames, her close slash, this is one of her best moves. It's plus three. And you can use like the really wide chain window to cancel it at different speeds. If you dash first, you can even do multiple of these. So you can really make the opponent and sit there and block and punish them if they press any buttons by frame trapping them. Uh, 5k 2d as well as 2k 2d, her, her sweep. These are also pretty decent frame traps. This doesn't actually combo, so if the opponent just gets hit, you can see this is not a two-hit combo into her sweep. But if they're mashing buttons in between, you can see you're going to get this fat counter hit. And what I like to do is cancel the sweep into her spiral arrow, 236k. So there you get a little combo. If you're in the corner, you actually can combo off this, so that's sweet. And then, of course, the spiral arrow is plus, so if they just block all of this, you know, you're back in this plus frame situation where they have to keep blocking or else they are going to get counter hit. Uh, worth noting, this move, her 214K, this is generally going to be your combo ender because it combos off of all your normals. This is minus, I think it's like minus one or two, it's slightly minus, but it is safe. So you don't have to be that scared about just throwing this move out. Like if you're in plus frames and you want to frame trap them, you can just do something like this and it's not a big deal if they block it. So this all sounds well and good, right? You can basically just, you know, eternally create plus frames for yourself. Like, what's the opponent ever going to do? You're just constantly plus. They can never press any buttons or they get counter hit. But there is one big thing which you have to watch out for, which is 6P. So if you guys don't know, 6P has air invulnerable properties in this game. It will beat out air attacks. Uh, similar to, like, a 2H in Dragon Ball Fighters. Uh, this is a pretty universal property for every character, so you really got to watch out for that. So, you know, just pay attention to what the opponent's doing. If they're not abusing uh, 6P, you can just keep them at plus frames all day and frame trap them. But if they start to go to the 6P option a lot and you're getting hit, uh, just do like delayed 214K. You can see you can just delay it and then you get a counter hit and, you know, you can RC or something to combo off that. Uh, or you can do 5k into 2d will also frame trap that as well. So just pay attention to what the opponent's doing. Don't get too predictable and mix things up so that you can keep applying this frame trap that she is so very good at. And so yeah, then once they're just respecting, they're just blocking all day, you can start to go for throw. Her throw is pretty decent. Um, 
you can't get a combo off it or anything without spending meter. You can get one hit in the corner, but, you know, it does pretty good damage, and then you can keep applying pressure. And if you do want to spend meter, you can, of course, Roman cancel it. And you can combo off it with whatever you want. This move here is uh, 6 Heavy Slash, forward plus Heavy Slash. And uh, this move is pretty decent. It can anti-air sometimes, but mostly I just end up using it as a combo ender. Mid-screen, she might have better post-Roman cancel combos than this, but I don't really know them. Uh, her combo routes have changed a little bit. You can do stuff like close slash, crouching slash, 214L, and then combo off it that way. So you can see here, she can combo like that, but uh, you, you can't really confirm. This is only really good for like punishing block DPs and stuff. Uh, since if you leave any kind of gap after this close slash, you're not going to get that launcher. So her combos aren't that amazing. Usually it's some variation of like, you know, a few normals into 214k. Or, you know, a few normals into 214k Roman cancel and then end it with something like this. Um, your combos can get a little bit more swaggy uh, close to the corner. You can do stuff like this, which is nice meterless combo there. But yeah, generally, she's not like this insane combo monster. You're going to be uh, just doing short combos a lot. I think her supers are very good. She has one super uh, half circle back forward plus heavy slash, which is her ground super. Really nice for breaking the wall, even from pretty far away. And worth noting, if you break the wall with a super, you get to pressure the opponent on wake up. Whereas, you know, normally if you break a wall, you kind of reset back to neutral. You can see we kind of get up at the same time, so you can't pressure them. But if you break it with a super, you get pressure. So that's a pretty good thing to go for. And she also has this air super, double quarter circle forward plus heavy slash in the air. To me, this is mostly a combo ender as well. You can do like close slash, jump cancel it into super, which is a pretty good way to end combos. You can also do some tricky stuff like jump back to bait like a throw whiff and then do this to punish them for whiffing throw. So it does have some utility, but yeah, I think her supers are mostly just for ending combos. But her ground super also has some invincibility on startup, so you can use that as a reversal. She does have a DP, kind of, dragon punch plus slash. Uh, this is not invincible, so you can get hit out of it, but it has a pretty good hitbox, and it's very fast to come out, so this can be a good anti-air. And on counter hit, you can combo off it. I generally prefer her Dragon Punch versus anti-airing with her 6P. Her 6P is fine, but it's a little slow to come out compared to most 6Ps, and you can't combo off it with too much, uh, so to me it's a little bit more consistent to go for her DP if you have... Uh, the preparation to be able to do the Dragon Punch on reaction. You can get some good damage off of it. One other trick I want to show you, her jumping light kick is a pretty ridiculous cross-up button. It's kind of like Iori Taco Kick or something. And you can actually cancel it into this flip. You have to do the flip motion kind of the backwards way from what you're expecting. But this is a pretty sick cross-up. You can even do like close slash, jump cancel, air dash into that. Roman cancel, combo off it. This mix-up hits everybody, so uh, definitely be sure to abuse that. Just be careful because obviously you can get 6P'd out of it because of that upper body invincibility. Uh, and then the only other mechanic I haven't talked about is what happens when her meter fills. She has this weird little mechanic where if you're at half meter, you can see the color of the dog changes a little bit. It's like a little bit more neon here. Whereas here you can see it's like a more dull green. So the color of the dog changes. And then if you're at 100% meter, you can see both their colors change. Giovanna's color changes as well. All this does, I believe, is a very minor buff on her attack. So like, for example, this three hit combo did 86 with the buff on. Without the buff, it did 78. So it's like, I don't know, 10% increase in damage. And she also takes... 10% less damage as well, I believe. Something in that area. To me, this is like not that big of a thing. I feel like if you're just sitting on a lot of meter, you would get more damage by just, you know, using it for stuff like supers or Roman cancels. So uh, I don't feel like this mechanic is that useful. Um, I think the reason it's in the game, at least what people have told me, is that if you're a new player, New players aren't very good at using their meter. They kind of just sit on a lot of meter. So you get a little bit of a passive buff as like a bonus. Um, theoretically, you know, you could like go for gold burst early in the round and just have this full meter the whole time and just be buffed up. But it's only 10%. 
I feel like 90% of the time you just should be using it on super to kill them instead, but it is what it is. I knew you guys would ask about it if I didn't explain it, so that's that mechanic. And, uh, you know, with that, I think I've covered most of the stuff I wanted to talk about. Uh, I've really been enjoying this character. I would highly recommend her. If you're a new player to Guilty Gear, I think she's a great choice, but even if you're not, I just think she's a very fun character to play. It's really fun having all this really good movement, all this control of the ground game. I would definitely recommend checking her out. And uh, now I'm going to include uh, some match footage that I think will be a great uh, sort of example of the things that I talked about here and maybe help you guys uh, see what she looks like in action. So thank you guys so much for watching and uh, stick around to watch the matches. Yeah, I think Axel Time Stop is bad. I think it's just not a super that you should use most of the time. Roman Cancel is just better. There are definitely some characters I like a lot in English. I like English Giovanna the most, for sure. I I, I like May English too. Hey, Obscene Kung, is that right? Thank you very much for the six months in advance? Good lord! That's very generous of you, bro. I appreciate it. That was insane. What button is that cross up? Um, light kick. Light kick hits on both sides. Or er, not light kick, just kick. Kick button. And then you cancel it into her flip kick. Bandit bringer! That's so much damage. Who go through projectiles? Let's go. Whew. I am not, like, abusing plus frames very well at all. I'm just getting hit when I'm plus. Getting jabbed out. Oh, nice. Jeez. No! That move beats projectiles, but I got too early. I got hit too early. Footsies. There we go, now he doesn't have burst for the last round. Let's go. Oh, 
Whoa. That was a sick ant here. All right, we're in there, boys. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> we got there. Hell yeah. All right, guys. We got time for one more round, and then we're going to call the stream for today. These are fun matches, man. Jeez, nice. Yeah, I'm plus there, bro. Throw whiff is so punishing in this game. Feels good. Feels good. Yeah, I played Eno earlier because I wanted to try a new character, but Geo is just too fun. Let's go ahead and corner myself. <laughs> no one's ready for that cross up. Oh, nice, 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 nice. That was sick. That's a good one to go out on, guys. What do you think about that? Hey, no, this isn't what do you think about that?